Uh, I was in sales. Uh, I was on the road um, doing sales and it seemed like no matter what I did, however much I succeeded or achieved, this more got thrown on me. Uh, so my reward was always more work with really little more pay. Well, as what's usually been happening, uh, I got downsized out because I was up in uh, upper management and just didn't want to go back into the store to count pills and uh, uh, be behind a counter. So I had to find something that I wanted to do that was fun. The way I came to this was actually I, I was a customer first in Menominee Falls, Wisconsin. And so I was working for an ad agency up there and I became a customer and I was like, wow, this is cool. And, you know, after uh, we moved back to Atlanta, um, it was my wife's turn to have the full-time job and I was going to freelance uh, or open my own ad agency or film production company. But it was the 91, 92 recession, which at this point many people don't remember, but it was bad. Not a good time to open up that type of business, but I wanted to open up my own business, and it was a time in my life where it was time to do it. We have been into a business prior. Uh, we have a, we've been business owners for 23 years, and we were looking to get into something a little bit um, different, a little bit more community-oriented, something that uh, we could get more involved in, uh, in participating in the community with. It's kind of a long story uh, how it happens, but again, it had always been a goal. I, I live in Canton. Um, I worked at the uh, Cuyahoga Falls location, which is a short drive from, from where I lived, and uh, I always thought that Canton would be a, you know, an ideal location for a store. Uh, and uh, so again, it was always just sort of a goal of mine to, to be an owner and, and have one you know, in my hometown. And um, I had the opportunity to partner up with a guy that I actually worked for originally, that owned the stores originally. He eventually sold them, and um, I partnered up with him, and you know, we made, a, made it happen. I've always wanted to own my own business. Uh, that's one thing why I went to school. I got my business degree and uh, banking at the time that we purchased the store, it was a, you know, an industry that was uh, affected by the recession. Um, so wasn't feeling very good about uh, job, keeping my job. So we decided, me, I have a partner, decided to look around uh, for a business to purchase. We found play again, spent, play again sports and we kind of figured that's probably as recession proof as you could possibly get. I kind of grew up in retail. Uh, my dad had a retail business, a shoe business when I was a kid. I uh, grew up stocking his shelves when I was, you know, 10, 12, 13 years old. Uh, be prior to that, when I was going to college, worked at Foot Locker, a uh, couple retail locations, and uh, then, you know, took a job part-time at Played Against Sports when I was, I guess, 19, 20 years old and uh, started managing the store a couple of months later and uh, bought the store about four and a half years after that. And I looked at a lot of different things. I mean, uh, w w franchise was one thing we wanted to do, uh, my wife and I, and, uh, and I looked at uh, some uh, food franchises. I looked at some, even some fitness franchises. And then one day we were over at a soccer tournament over in uh, St. Louis area and I walked into uh, a Played Against Sports uh, store I just kind of looked around and I go, you know, this looks kind of fun. I can do this. I can do something like this. And that started the ball rolling to where I wanted to go. Came across Played Against Sports, started looking at the model. Uh, it just made sense to me. There was a store in town in Appleton already. Um, I went in as a manager and a few years later I bought it. And I thought, what will never go out of style? What will always maintain a steady business no matter what during a recession, kids, sports equipment in, in the Amer <laughs> United States of America, and recycling. Those are things that you just can't argue against. We have a couple of kids, and growing up uh, with young kids, we've been shopping at Played Against Sports prior to even considering a franchise. And uh, when the time came, we called and talked to a couple of the franchises in our, in our area and uh, we, saw, we saw a distinct need in our community for, for, for the system that we have. You had the support, you had, you had the background, and you had the people making mistakes before you do. And uh, don't get me wrong, I'm making mistakes every day, but I always tell my kids, I go, you're not living unless you're making mistakes, and you learn from your mistakes. We 
started the franchise because we thought that there was a real need in the community for the used aspect. Uh, we have a few new sporting goods stores in our area, but there was no, um, no service that provided a used aspect to it. The other reason that I really liked the idea uh, was the buying group. The buying group is, is really um, the reason that I can always tell someone in the store, hey, I can have the same price as Sports Authority Dicks or the Internet or Walmart, um, and I can match any price because of our buying group. It, well, I didn't go to business school. I have biology and chemistry degrees from UNC Chapel Hill. So, you know, no, no preparation outside of just the real, real doing it. And then, I, you know, it's sporting goods, it's fun, it's, it's you're not, you know, you're not, you're not selling grave cemetery plots. It's, it's, it's kids and families and, and golf clubs and, you know, snowboards and it, it, it just was, it was fun. Factors, again, the recession um, gave me an uneasy feeling in certain industries, so I just wanted to control my own fate, and I uh, thought I had enough knowledge to do so. Uh, and that's really the reason, that, that was really the drive, was to make sure I'm in control of my own destiny, and again, play it against sports I thought would be as close to recession-proof as uh, uh, any other industry I could find out there.